This is the government in waiting, this party, and I believe most Kiwis would definitely um, resound with what the policy pillars that we've just given a little bit of today. Um, and as I said, we're a sensibly, um, radically sensible party, um, and bringing back common sense and making it common again. Um, we're standing for all of those who have been left out. I believe many of the working class, um, I'm talking about small business and medium-sized business owners, and many that are on the bottom part of that, we are not getting represented. We've been dumped and left out by this government. And so, as I said today, um, we haven't got an opposition. National Act and the rest of them have all agreed in principle with what Labour did in the COVID carnage. And so we can't trust them and they allowed our democracy to be ripped away from us. And I believe Freedom New Zealand is the party, the party vote uh, for all Kiwis who want to change. So I'm not actually sure the total one that I'm going to stand in yet, but I, um, I think that'll come out all in good time. We're going to talk about it together because what we want to do is we want the, the teams to, to talk together and say, look, I'm going to put this person forward because we're looking for people that actually are professionals in the areas that we want to represent. So that's what we'll be doing. So we'll be finding out which party's got the person best suited for the area that we want them to stand in. I believe because it's a party for the people, by the people, um, in the next 11 months in our campaign, um, we will see boots on the street. We'll see people spread the message um, that this is a party for them. We're giving back their voice and they need to be heard and they can take charge and control of their own lives. And so it's coming from the ground up, not from the top down. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.